Phil. Are you listening? Damn. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shop. Bring some more gameplay footage. We got some more weekend league. As you can see, this guy here, man, he's got a loaded offense, and I've got a loaded defense. So this is the perfect clash of uh, strength versus strength. I don't know. For all I know, the guy's defense is loaded too. But as far as the first three cards go, he's got two really good receivers, better than my two receivers, and then he's got um, a top-notch running back in the uh, the ultimate. Um, Ladanian Tomlinson, which I'm totally behind on. I, I didn't buy the Ladanian Tomlinson cards or packs early on. <laughs> I skipped a bunch of them, and now I'm like kept trying to catch up once I figured out what that was and how important that was and how much I should have been doing it. Uh, but basically, my Ladanian Tomlinson's 82, so every day I'm trying to buy the uh, the pack in the store and catch up, and it's just taking forever. So hopefully I'll get them at some point. Can't wait. Probably like another month or so until I do. Probably more, uh, to be honest. I should have been on that. But either way, uh, so here we are on offense. I, I mess that first play up. I'm supposed to hike the ball before he gets outside. Uh, but it is what it is. So then on the next play here, I messed this one up too. I probably could have threw to that... Uh, I don't know, I could have probably threw it quicker, for one thing, to the square route. Uh, that almost gets tip-picked. I'm lucky it doesn't, although that luck doesn't last very long. This play right here, I love this play. It's such a good play, uh, but for whatever reason, this guy, this cornerback, man, look at how much space he covers. He's supposed to be outside there. <laughs> he just comes inside and snatches that. That's the first time I've ever seen that, so maybe he just got a nasty-ass corner. It's a keep to leave. I'm guessing it's the Mutt Hero keep to leave because he's got all these other Mutt Hero cards. Uh, but either way, he's going to run that exact same run play that I run, that everybody runs. <laughs> and I, it's getting easier and easier to stop because everybody runs it. Um, so I shut it down there. But then he hits me right up the middle, and there's a huge hole. Uh, and I, I don't know, man. That's just that's just a bad swing of events. I mean, I'm going to say that that was my plan. I wanted to be down 7 nothing. That's how I wanted this to be. So either way, the next uh, series of plays, I've been running that play quite a bit. Love that play. I run back like, always open in that play and I totally uh, you know I get a first down next play he's just hit sticking the shit out of my guy right there uh, this guy's laying the lumber if you guys are not you know this is a very defensive heavy game you're going to see uh, both both of us playing a lot of defense there I get the nice safe catch I probably would have dropped it um, if you guys don't do that, if you don't possession catch or safe catch, whatever they call that, if you don't do that, you're you're missing out. It's really important. Here, he's just, like I say, he's just filling those gaps, man. Not a lot of places to run. Um, this here, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, do one of my more favorite plays where I get out on the edge. Um, I try to throw the ball there. That's why you saw me hop at the end because <laughs> I thought, like, I didn't know I was over the line. It probably would have been a penalty. I'm actually glad it didn't. And then on the next play, I try to run it. I can't even get the ball off. He's just flying in with Ray Lewis. Uh, hit sticking me fourth and seven. I got to go for it because I'm at about 32 and I know I can't kick a field goal So I make a nice adjustment uh, That's not normally how I run that play and it comes open underneath everything. That was kind of perfect um, That was you know a lot of times I'm just adding stuff as I'm doing it here This is a, a counter Y play and I don't know why I didn't really get the acceleration I wanted I think maybe I was using AP um, who doesn't have the fastest acceler acceleration there um, here, man. I just get rid of it. Like, I recognize any time there's a defensive end outside of that right tackle, it blows that play up. So I didn't even mess around with that. And then I hit completely hit the wrong button. That was not the intention there. I tried to snap that ball, throw it out to the flats, and then rack catch it. And the triangle route was the flat route. And then when I, I, I guess that didn't register. And then when I hit the uh, square route, the rack catch, the turn up field, it just went to the square route. And now it's just a completely unfortunate affair right there. But that was totally not the read. I totally tried to throw it in the flats instead of throwing it in like quadruple coverage, which is total BS. But hey, that stuff happens. It is what it is. So derails my drive. This guy here, though, he's trying to move the ball now. And my defense is just, is just starting to shut down. You guys are going to see. Like I said, this is a real defensive struggle. Early on, though, I'm running like this is a cover two. Um, outside blitz that I typically run. Uh, nothing too special here. Um, you know, this is eventually I start tearing it up. Like this year, I get the big hit stick. Fourth and six, he's going for, which is not the smartest thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this blitz. You're going to see this blitz quite a bit throughout this game. You see me moving around the line there. That's just basically to make him think. There's two reasons I'm doing that. One, I'm trying to, to, to make him think I'm nanoing him. As you can see here, the pressure gets in from two different areas, it looks like. Maybe three. And I get the ball right back, which is nice because I, I totally got screwed out of the ball last time. Uh, but here, I'm going to hit that same. This is that same round I did before, man. This is that same play. Um, it's so money that that running back is always open in the flats for a catch and run. Um, and then here I'm going right back to this play. I don't like the looks of it, so I go ahead and I switch it up. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna audible it, and then I, I, I typically like to flip this to the other side and motion this guy over. I think it's a, it's a better look for some reason. Typically works. Didn't work there. 
Um, but that's typically the way that I run that. Whenever I audible that, I don't know why, but I typically have more success doing it that way. So then I'm going to hit, hit him with that strong power, and it's just one miss right there, and there's nothing but green grass, and I, I take it into the end zone. So we get we get the uh, we get the tie it up there. Like I said, you're not going to see a lot of scoring for a while. Uh, this this turns into a straight up defensive slugfest right here, and you can see I'm, I'm keep running the same blitz. You're going to see his blitz throughout this entire game. If you want to see the breakdown, the setup really, as this guy jumps the running back and knocks the ball down, would have been a sack. Uh, but if you want to see the breakdown, the setup for this blitz, I will post a link in the description, um, and I'll also pop it up as I'm talking right now. Uh, hopefully, I remember to do that. But this is—I just put this blitz setup out, and it's completely a game changer. I, I keep like this is third and nine. I, I start doing this where I'm running. You know, I go I go into like a, a more of a pass heavy package, but eventually I realize it shuts it down anyway. But eventually I realize how much that that blitz works so well that I, I just stop calling other plays entirely through as this game goes along because this guy really has no answer for it. So fourth and nine, punting it away, um, trying to get a nice uh, return here. I get it back to about the forty. I'll take that. That's a really good starting field position. I'm going a little bit too heavy to this play to the running back here, uh, but it's still working. I don't throw it though. I try to step up and take off, and I don't know if I was just worried about that guy over there. Um, in the flat. So here I keep going back to this play. This play right here uh, was definitely it's one of my more favorite plays. I got the tight end in the flat and for whatever reason I just don't throw it. Like I'm just not passing the ball with my offense it's not my offense. It's like watching this now I can see that the reads are there, that the routes are open but um, I'm just not making the you know I'm just not making the reason the reaction in time so it's it's to the point where I'd rather run with the quarterback and that's when I'm not comfortable it is what it is as you see here this is why I mean I'm just not seeing the field I'm making bad read that one right there I had a million open routes in the previous plays but there I just throw it away but you know what this defense is so money it doesn't even matter so here I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna keep running this blitz although I didn't even have that set up right that was the defensive I'm supposed to move the linebacker in I didn't even do that so that that's why that that had so much success there so I think on this play I have a little more success he's gonna go ahead he's gonna run a hurry up and I'm actually gonna do um, this is a different this is the inside or the mid blitz as you can see here there that gets home I mean this whole all the blitzes out of this four six normal just so fire here here I set the blitz up right I motion the linebacker in you can see how he just fires in and shuts it down um, this this is the proper way to run it and when I do run this properly it shuts it down here's another one I mean this is you can see like I said I, I do that that motion with the DT just to make them think I'm cheating <laughs> that's really all I want to do out of that plus it also helps me get off of the blocks quicker to get into coverage you can see I mean it's just guys are just firing in there here we go again same blitz like I said eventually I didn't care what it was third and long fourth and long four wide receiver sets like this is I didn't care it got to the point where I was like this this defense this blitz is working so well I'm just gonna keep running it and that's exactly what I do. Sometimes I, DT, I use the DT. Sometimes I use the defensive end. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. Like I said, check that link out, man. That's a total game-changing defense. It just it just turns into easy mode. As you can see there, another sack. Uh, this guy's got a punt away. Look at him. He's just going backwards, man. Fourth and 22. This blitz is completely just just mind-bending and beating his ass. Um, he's got no answer for it. So I'm getting the ball once again. Let me get a nice return. Still can't, but I'm getting the ball right where I need to. It's in the second half now. I mean, I'm looking at this like I just got to go down and get a field goal. I mean, I, I got to the point where I'm like, I know this guy can't score on me the way this blitz is working. So I'm just, I just got to work a couple of yards here. And I'm trying to pound the rock. I mean, like I said, I don't, this guy, I don't know if this guy's playing really good defense or if I'm just not making good decisions here. We get to the inch fourth and inches you know what i gotta go for it i mean i got no choice uh, i don't do the quarterback sneak i go with the running back he barely gets in and he falls four for a couple yards because he's because he's actually tevin coleman i thought it was adrian pearson i don't know what i was thinking i typically would use uh, adrian pearson in that in that scenario and then i get a little too creative a little too cute. seriously you know heavy blitz there on a play action and sack so second and 18 i got some plays uh, that i haven't thrown this guy yet including this one right here uh, which works out pretty good I, I, he dives for that catch and gets me about nine uh, which is nice but uh, you know, it gets me about halfway back to where I need to be. Uh, but you know, I, I just I just need to turn up here. I need I need to get some first down. So I go down and I try to run for this. That guy doesn't block at all, and, and I probably should have threw it ahead of time. But once again, like I said, my passing this entire game is a little bit sketchy. I got to figure that out. Fourth and inches, I go for it. He shuts me down. Do block sheds is just right in the gap waiting. Now this is a scenario where you know things could easily go south. This guy could go down and score me, take this game over. Uh, but like I said, I believe in this defense. You can see defense is still shutting it down. I'm 
I'm just running the same thing over and over. Once you realize somebody you're doing something they can't stop, uh, you know, or they have no answer for it, you just got to keep doing it. So third and ten, right at the gate, still running that blitz, and he's running the ball on third and ten. That's how much, that's how hopeless he feels to pass at this point, where he doesn't even try. Fourth and three, once again, we're gonna send that blitz again, bro. You know, what I'm saying you, this is a little bit different. This time it's the mid blitz. This is this is the all out man blitz. But this really stops inside runs is about as good as anything. And then he goes ahead, he calls a timeout, switches it up. So here, um, I, he, I'm shifting. I don't even get to set up the defense, and it still works. Uh, I made a mistake there uh, by doing that. But either way, first and ten, two minutes left. All I got to do is get some points. You know what I'm saying? I, I know this guy can't move the ball. He can't move the ball an inch against this defense that I'm setting up. So what I got to do here... Um, is I just gotta I just gotta get inside the thirty because my kicker you know what I'm saying I really gotta put some money down on a kicker so I got somebody that's a little bit more of a threat uh, from distances like this um, but you know what I'm saying them kickers man they get expensive as hell they're expensive as anything else in this game quarterbacks running backs you name it uh, top notch wide receivers you can spend on a kicker and uh, I knew something wasn't gonna go good there I was trying I really was trying to like audible and change the play and it was a mistake and I get sacked this play here though this is completely different I see a hole I make an adjustment you know what I mean this is not the setup of the play but I see space over there and I make it and I get the first down third and ten that was huge from the 35 with a minute left now I'm like you know what I'm not even gonna throw this ball anymore that was like the play of the game right there didn't seem like much that little 10 yard pass but that was the play of the game and now boom get a nice big run on the inside and i'm just you know what i'm saying i got 50 seconds left two timeouts he's got none so he can't do anything but i just I, i'm not going to call the timeouts i'm just going to basically run a little bit of a hurry up try to get a couple extra yards uh and get down and kick the field goal and get away with this game i mean i'm inside the 18 i think this guy's basically to the point where he knows that this game is over um, he, you know, he's just not, uh, I mean, there's nothing he can do about it unless, unless he wants to grieve and like act like a bitch and like jump off sides and stuff. Uh, but either way, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not running, I'm not even running the ball good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that whole thing is just messed up. And you can see here, I set up for that field goal, call that timeout. You know what I'm saying? I got a timeout. So let's not quick kick it and, uh, hurry myself, get a nice, easy field goal right down the pipe. Uh, still didn't even get it 100%. I mean, I don't think it was going off this side a little bit, but that's game. I mean, this, you know, like I said, I wanted to show you guys this, this game because this defense was just lights out, and I thought it was uh, good for a video. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button, I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moe shit out. more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.